Hello, I'm Coco, food enthusiast, author, and resident chef. Cooking with Coco, here we go. Welcome, family, to my kitchen. Look at that, this, what? Ha, bam! Every batch made from scratch. Nothing to it but to do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Cook with Coco. From my grandma's kitchen to mine, now to yours. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Cooking with Coco. How is everybody doing? Thank you so much for joining me today. I got another good one for you. Listen, listen, have you ever, have you ever? <laughs> ever, ever, ever heard of broccoli chicken rice casserole. Easy breezy, one pot. We're going to mix all of this goodness. It is delicious during this time of the year. It's cool and crisp and you want something comforting. Here it is, okay? I call it Broccoli chicken rice casserole in one pot is what we're going to do. So you don't have to mess up a whole lot of dishes, okay? How's everybody doing? What's cooking? Broccoli chicken rice casserole is what's cooking. <laughs> Easy breezy, guys. I'm going to open up with a word of prayer and then we're going to get started. Dear God, we come thanking you for another cooking opportunity, God. We thank you for today, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. We thank you for your love, God. Lord, we thank you for the viewers, God. We ask you to bless them and bless them real, real, real good, God, because they taking time with Coco, and I am grateful, grateful, grateful. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get started. Okay, I have my big pot back here. They call it a Dutch oven because it goes from the stove to the oven. You can cook, you can bake, you can stew, you can do all of that. Y'all need to get y'all one of these. Get you one. Get you one. Christmas coming. Tell those hubbies. That's what you want. If that's what you want. <laughs> okay. Listen, if you guys like this, please like, share, comment, and go on over to my YouTube channel, Cooking with Coco. We're going to be uh, doing another drawing for Christmas. I have another Christmas basket. My husband's looking at me like, huh, I didn't know that. Yes, he did. He, he always want to play like he knew, y'all. He knows. He knows. Let me tell you something. Send donations. <laughs> I, I got his permission to spend his money. But I work too. Y'all work. Y'all husbands treat y'all like count every penny. Let's get started. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, harp on that. Let's do it. Okay. And guys, you know what I will do is put all of the ingredients after the show, um, put all the ingredients and measurements on um, my Facebook as well as the YouTube. Okay. So right now I am adding some butter to this pot. Adding some butter. How much? I'm going to put the measurements up later. See, they got to watch. They got to see. They got to go over to the YouTube and see all the measurements and all that good stuff. How y'all doing? What's cooking? What are y'all cooking? I'm cooking broccoli, mm, chicken, mm, rice, casserole. And yes, got cheese in it, ain't it? He loves cheese. Yeah, see, the cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese man back there. Okay, so I'm melting this butter. I'm going to have Agnes come over and, and, and show y'all a little something, something. Come on, Agnes. He just want me to call his name, I think, because he knows when I need him. I, listen. Okay, Akis, how many times you want me to call your name? <laughs> you need me all the time. I do. Why you playing? Oh, Lord. Yes, I do. I need them all the time. So what I have here is, is my butter, and then I'm adding my celery and my onions, okay, to this Dutch oven. And we want to stir all this goodness. While that's doing that, I'm going to add some salt. Not heavy on the salt because... Um, I got a complainer over here. Too much salt. Too much salt. Okay, there's my pepper. Yes. And you just want to um, cook your um, celery and onions until, until they are translucent in co color. Nice and tender. Translucent in color. Translucent. 
smell like see-through. <laughs> you can see through onions. Yes. You didn't know that? Oh, Lord. Y'all know he didn't go there. Uh, J.A. Fair. Who, who man. He's a graduate of J.A. Fair. Oh, my goodness. Who knows it? I didn't even know nothing about J.A. Fair. Yes, 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 yes. So, are you, how was everybody's Thanksgiving? And listen, are you guys looking forward to a nice Christmas? What are y'all cooking? Listen, I'm going to tell you, this is perfect for a side. It really is. It is perfect for a side. Listen, I have, um, again, we're calling it the broccoli chicken rice casserole. So you have your veggies, you have your rice, you have your, um, your chicken, your rice, your broccoli, and then your onions and celery. So it's one, everything in here is going to make a full meal. A full meal. Yes, it is. And while um, that's kind of sauteing and doing this thing, guys, I want to tell y'all something. Listen, third edition, Cooking with Coco. This is the limited edition. Uh, I need you to go uh, to Amazon.com. Or you can go to www.sandraakins.com. Get your book. Listen, you remember last time I was telling you guys, men like to cook too. Y'all stop. Don't, 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 don't cut them short. Come on now. Men like to cook. Well, mine's like to grill. Not necessarily cook, but you got some men cookers out there. I can cook. You can cook. What can you cook, Akins? Some ramen noodles, some <laughs> eggs, some bacon. Do y'all like ramen noodles? That, now, he talks about the ramen noodles all the time. He, he really likes ramen noodles, but he talks about my food sometimes. I, I'm a little heavy on my salt, so I'm just trying to be really careful and mindful how much salt I, but let me tell you, those ramen noodles and that little packet, that is extremely salty. So I don't know what you're talking about. Salty, yes. But guys, this will actually also be in um, the gift basket for Christmas. So this edition, and I think I'm going to put the the first and the third edition will be in the Christmas basket. We, I want to uh, give a shout out to Tawana Farmer. She won the Thanksgiving basket. I hope that she's enjoying all of those goodness. Um, we had uh, preserves. We had some of my favorite seasonings. She got the third edition. She got, what, she, what else did she get? Cutting board. Oh, yeah, she got a, a, oh, yeah, cutting board. She got some, um, some a knife set for, um, Cutting vegetables. Uh, she got a, a cooking with cocoa coffee mug, uh, and I think she told me she said I've never won anything, and I was like, I was really glad that she won. Um, well, can you tell them this is the last year we're gonna do it because we can't afford to keep doing it. Agents, <laughs> my viewers have been extremely kind to me. They have supported uh, my cooking with cocoa cookbooks, first, second, and third, and also they they support the show. So I am, um, I just want to kind of give back um, to my supporters because I, I do appreciate you guys. And I know you don't have to, you don't have to watch the show, you don't have to purchase the book, but because you do, I am forever grateful. I really am. And I, I just thank you so much. So I was thinking, what could I do? What else could I do? Give our uh, address and let them send some gift cards to us. That makes sense. I guess I'm showing my my thank yous and my um, gratitude toward them. So that's the reason I wanted to do the the gift baskets. Okay. Okay. okay I sometimes okay. don't think I do enough because you know my my viewers they they have really done well with this purchase uh -huh. and these cookbooks. So I'm just really thrilled. Okay, Akins. Now what we want to do now? Okay. So my my veggies are nice and translucent. Now we want to put one can. A cream, a mushroom, cream of chicken, and then we'll put a cream of mushroom in here as well. Okay. Turn it down just a little bit. Let's get the cream of mushroom. And guys, if you don't like um, the cream, some people don't like the cream of mushroom. You can. That's exactly right, because uh, that's what I was going to tell them. You can use the cream of celery. And uh, that will give it an extra, extra flavor because you're already putting your celery in here, okay? So now you want to stir that really nice 
to it's all incorporated, okay? Look at that. Nice and creamy. So we have our uh, veggies, we have our butter, we have our salt and pepper, and now we have our cream of chicken, cream of, cream of uh, mushroom. Now, guys, you want to cook you some rice and some broccoli, okay? And now it, 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 this is a dumping game now. We want to pour our broccoli, steamed broccoli. It's already cooked. You want it cooked. Don't put raw broccoli, okay? And you want to stir that up. This is really, really delicious. One pot meal. That's what this is, a one pot meal. Now we want to take our rice and you want to pour your rice over in here. Sorry? It's not ready. Okay. Okay, now you want to stir that. Okay. Again, I will put all of those measurements up, guys. Look at that. Okay. Now we want to add our chicken. How much chicken you want in here, right? All of it. Oh, Lord. He wants all the chicken, okay? And then I have to step to the side for a minute. I need to get just a little um, part of chicken stock, okay? And again, I will put those measurements up. Who's the cook over here? Did he, did he reach his hand in this pot, um, viewers? I didn't. Well, I think he did. Mean, so now, it. you're mixing. Look at that, guys. Yeah, I think you were right, Randy. We did need to add all that chicken. That probably was about two and a half cups of chicken, okay? Already cooked. The chicken, the broccoli is cooked, the rice is cooked. And then you get rotisserie and all that. Oh, yeah. You can either boil your own chicken or you can buy your rotisserie chicken. Now, I'm putting Velveeta cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. This is what I recommend. This is one of my favorites. And then you want to stir all of that goodness. Guys, this is a full course meal. This is it. I have my chicken, so that's my meat. I have my broccoli, that's my veggie. I have, my, of course, the celery and onions. And then I have my rice. And then you want to stir that and let and, that and little bread. melt. This is a bread fanatic over here. I think I still need to add just a little chicken broth. Right here. And that's just to help make it nice and creamy. You don't want dry. Look at that, guys. Nice and creamy. Are you putting that in the oven? Now, really, it's it's ready. This this is ready. But let me tell you this, and I don't really necessarily have to put it in the oven. You can if you want. And usually when I do this, let me show you. Let me make sure it's all incorporated really nicely. But guys, this takes all about, what, 15, 20 minutes, guys and there's nothing to it. You just want that cheese to melt. I love this, guys. And when I say comfort food, this is one that you want to try. And you wanna just take some cheese and sprinkle that on top. Like so. Again, whatever cheese you want. And is that enough cheese for you? No. You want a little bit more cheese? No, I'm good. <laughs> Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, just lay it on just for a second. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit so that that cheese will melt, okay? Easy breezy, nothing to it but to do it. Hey, I want to get, oh, yeah. I want to give a shout out to Exa. What is it, Agnes? Sister Hartman? Yes. She um, she did a copycat. She went, um, actually, she, she called and asked, now give me those ingredients for that um, carrot soup. Carrot soup, thank you. And that girl, listen, she 
nailed it. It looked absolutely delicious. She said it was delicious, and I believe her. I appreciate my copycats out there. Listen, listen. So I gave her a big shout out. I let her know that everything looked so scrumptious, just absolutely delicious. And uh, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I tell you guys it all the time. You can do it. So, and to top our wheel off, um, I just did some a small loaf of French bread. with olive oil, butter, and I, I season my bread. Did you know that I, I season my bread. So, guys, so what I need you all to do after the show, and this is only if you like it, what, what Coco just did. Um, I need you to like it if you like it. I need you to share it. I need you to uh, comment, and I need you to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. If you have not, if you have, then hey, we good. We are good. Okay, now. Oh, it's ready, Fred. <laughs> Guys, y'all know I have to do the um, the taste, right? I have to do the taste. So let me get a nice spoon. Ooh. You ready, Akins? <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks. They really need to see this. I'm, I'm telling you. You may bring it right here, Akins. They bring it right here. Look how. You want to bring it over there? It didn't matter. Okay. Look at that. It's cheesy. It's meaty. It's veggie. <laughs> I'm being silly now. But listen. Loaded with that broccoli and cheese and uh, onions. Listen, I'm going to give it a quick stir. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And, guys, you can put this in the oven if you like and let it uh, get, like, a little brown uh, color on top. Or you can just do it right, like, on top of the stove like I just did. You can also, there's another option. You can add um, panko breadcrumbs. Add a little butter to the panko and sprinkle that on top. Put it in the oven for, like, 10 minutes. Okay, let's go. Ooh, yes. And guys, you know what I do like? I like a little sour cream on top of mine. But, we're okay. You gonna get these for me? Aren't you kind? Aren't you kind? I'm gonna let that just kind of, I'm gonna have to take my mom um, a plate too. So, we're gonna get just a little sour cream on this. I'm gonna cut just a little piece. Now, this is just a little French bread that I just, um, Put some olive oil, a little salt and pepper, a little garlic salt, um, and butter on that. But this is this is delicious. So, and then I just take a dollop of sour cream and put that on top like so. Did they get the shot? They did? They got the shot? <laughs> okay. Thank you, God, for this. How, how long has it taken? 19 minutes? Look at that. See, guys, y'all can have dinner on the table in 19 minutes for your children. This, these particular servings, this will set, serve at least six to eight people. That's a lot. So we got leftovers for tomorrow. This is my chicken, my broccoli, chicken, rice, casserole. Let's dig in and see what we talking about.
Hey guys, don't forget to go to Amazon.com to order your first and second edition. I'm going to be coming out with my third edition and I want you to already have your two cookbooks. Cooking with Coco, every batch made from scratch and Cooking with Coco Keto Style. Y'all better come on. That third edition will be coming out in the first of the year. Come on and let's cook with Coco.